What's up, YouTubers? It's your boy Spatcho here, and today we're going to talk about Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 4. Um, of course, you guys know of the announcement that was made, and everybody was hyped. Uh, Twitter was broken. Everybody lost their minds because, well, this game is what well, this game series is goaded, all right? That's just what it is. It's goaded. But let's be real here. Let's have a real conversation here. I purposely waited and didn't make any videos on this topic whatsoever because I'm pretty sure that everybody was gonna cover everything anyway. So I decided to just, you know, sit back, watch, and, you know, hear some people's opinions on the thoughts of the announcement of this game. Of course, I saw the mods and people were added Super Saiyan Blue to Budokai Tikachi 3, which was some pretty interesting videos, to be honest. Those were really dope to see. But let's like i said before let's be real because now in this day and age of gaming times have changed a lot and everybody seems to be under the impression that when you boot a tk issue 4 or whenever it releases that this game is going to have every character in the game and that's not going to be the case people i'm sorry to disappoint you guys but that's not gonna be the case at all now you may be wondering spectro what are you even talking about bro this game is going to be lit. Stop being such a negative person. And I'm not being negative here, people. I'm just being realistic. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm just as hype as the rest of you guys. But the reality of the situation is that if you really think about how games are made and how long they take or even just that, just how much gaming has changed since Budokai Tikai 3 came out, you're not getting all these characters on like day one. You're not buying the game and getting all these characters. They're going to be DLCs. Like, I know how I book out Tikashi 3, there was a whole roster, like, you had Dragon Ball all the way to GT, you had all the characters you can think of, right? They, they were all in this game, right? This game was, it was the game was it, right? It was that guy, right? There's just no doubt about it, this game was that guy. But when Budokai Tikaichi 4 drops, it's definitely going to be, I, it's going to be a special day, all right? That's for sure. That's going to be a very, very special day for all Dragon Ball Z fans across the world, including myself, all right? Now, Dragon Ball Z is by no means my favorite anime at all, but it is one of the first animes I ever watched in my entire life, so Dragon Ball Z will always have a special place in my heart. Now, when I say it wasn't my favorite, don't get me wrong, I don't hate it at all. This is like, like I said before, this is like one of the first things I ever watched, anime-wise at least. It was either this or Yu-Gi-Oh, I, I can't remember which one though. But this game here, it, it's different, right? It's special, right? This game really got me into... The characters, the lore, the story, all of it. But when I was talking about Dragon Ball Z Budokai 2 guys before, it's just the fact that I, I know for a fact that when this game drops, half the characters are not going to be in the game. Like, if Boruto the Shinobi Striker game has not showed anybody anything, and I need just that game, I'm just using that as an example of anything, because when I saw that Neji was not a character in that game, he was a DLC, it was insane to me, honestly, but... <laughs> I don't know if you guys ever do that or not, but like Neji, like Neji was not a character that was in the game of Boruto Shinobi Strike. He was a DLC character. Neji, of all people, was a DLC character. Don't ask me why he was a DLC character. I couldn't tell you. I, I don't even know why they even decided to make that man a DLC character to begin with, but that I'm going on track again. The point is that when this game drops, you're going to get the regular Dragon Ball Z story and you're going to get the main story mode and you're going to get characters you're going to lie through the story but your fan favorite characters are definitely are not going to be in this game you gotta make they gotta make that money people y'all think they not finna make some money off this game they're gonna make money off this game all right your fan favorite characters are not gonna be in this game like probably like they might throw you stuff like vegito from you know the series dragon Ball z series but you might not get vegito blue all right that character might not be in the game you might buy dlc like a super uh dragon ball super dlc just to get that character like i'm just calling it now because i can see it already i know everybody's height and i'm not trying to be the downer person that's exactly why i didn't make a video back then also because i just didn't want to be the downer person especially everybody's so excited i was also excited but then realization just, I don't know, just the real life, uh, how gaming is these days just hit me. And I'm like, 
it's like Spectro. Like you, you know for a fact, bro, that there's going to be DLCs in this game. I'm sure that these DLCs pop beef. Well, I like to hope they'll be for reasonable prices. But let's be real. It's not like they don't know that this game series is super popular. Do you think they not finna take advantage of the fact that they know it don't matter what price they say these DLCs do, people are gonna buy it. They say these DLCs, they give you five characters in a $20 DLC pack. What you think people gonna do? They gonna eat that up, they gonna buy it. Them gamers, they gonna buy it. Dragon Ball Z fans, they gonna buy it. Alright, I'm gonna buy it. <laughs> Alright, they know like they they know we're going to buy it. That's how I know for a fact this game is going to have DLC, and they saw an opportunity. You know, they went for a long time without ever really talking about Budokai Tenkaichi. They had no intentions of coming back to this series at all. To be honest, I can't understand for the reason why they went so long without ever like porting over or remastering. Well, I think they did remaster like some of the old Tenkaichi games on the PS3, but and Budokai Tenkaichi games on PS3, but I don't think they ever port those games or bought them over to the playstation 4 store and anything like that so like it's kind of odd that they now decided that they want to you know they want to go back to that you know go to the good uh the golden days you know there's definitely a reason for that because somebody somebody threw the idea out there and they just like you know what dragon Ball Z budokai tinkaichi 3 was really popular the budokai games were popular tinkaichi games were popular how about we bring back another budokai tinkaichi game for old times say and they piled up they probably looked at that guy was like, you're a genius. You know what? You're an absolute genius. They probably looked at him a little crazy at first, but you know what? You might be on to something. Because people these days, in these days and time, eat up nostalgia. All right? That's not a bad thing, and it's not a good thing. All right? It's, it's a double-edged sword. All right? You have good things you can be nostalgic about, and you got other things people could be blinded by nostalgia. I've also been a victim of being blinded by nostalgia. Trust me. I played some uh, old games from my childhood, and that's to say, those games did not age well <laughs> at all. The games did not age well at all. But I just want people to keep in mind that when the time comes and Budokai Tikaichi 4 comes out and they start dropping trailers, and you realize that some characters may not be in the game when it starts off and telling you it's going to be DLCs, and you know, you might not get all the content you want from the game when you first buy it i just don't want you guys to be like disappointed and well i won't say don't just be disappointed i don't want you to be surprised because you guys shouldn't be surprised at this point i just want everybody to keep in mind that this is going to be the case when this game drops so all right with well, that out the way you guys pretty much got the idea of what i really want to be real about in this game but other than that let's get hype people all right what you guys expect from the story mode though i mean honestly if i want to see a story mode from the buddha got tkg4 i kind of want to be like kakarot kind of a little open words you know i can live without creative characters in this game you know i don't mind if they add them honestly i'll create character to add as an option but if they don't you know do it then i don't mind it either because honestly i just feel like the budokai tkg games just work best when you just play as the characters but i know xenoverse is really popular so maybe they just they might decide to add it just do not do it like ultimate tkg please oh my please the flashbacks they're real all right with that being said, folks, thanks for watching. You like you like the video, dislike this like the video. Tell me what you think in the comment section below and what would you like to see from Dragon Ball Z Budokai and TKG4 or just tell me some of your wish list that you would like to see down in the comment section below. I'm Spatcho and hope you guys have a great day. I can't wait to see you guys next time. See ya.